ಜ್ಞಾನಿಪರಿತಾ ಜೀವಸ್ಸರ್ವಮಲಾನ್ಮುಕ್ತ್ಯೋತೇ ಸ್ವಜ So in all these shlokas, we can take in two ways. It is all description of Brahman in which the Jeevan Mukta merges. You can take or you can say this is the vision of a Jeevan Mukta. What is the vision? when everybody sees asapi jeevan mukta sees sate when everybody sees dukham jeevan mukta sees nandati 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 eva this person roditi 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 eva rendu vera ore vasutham vaadandruka both have got body both have got a world but their reaction is different and that is why krishna said yanisha sarva bhutana they are diagonally opposite living in the same world okay so jeevan mukta's vision also we can say and in this shloka also jeevan mukta's nature alone is being pointed out he is effulgent like gold he shines like gold so jeevan mukta is compared to the shining gold and what about samsari is gold but dull so therefore dull gold why because lot of impurities encrustations are there and therefore they don't shine that much similarly every jeeva is none other than brahman ananda swarupaha ana paata theriliye so everybody has got a dull look so he says <laughs> no not you kind of not you. right right not you i am not telling you i am talking about the other samsari so everybody is ananda swarupa ha but still there is a dull look why samsara why because there is an encrustation and what is fundamental encrustation ajnanam aduk mele ragadvesham aduk mele punya papam aduk mele sukha dukham ella irukku now what we have to do to get at the original gold we have to remove all these ragadvesha impurities and finally the ajnanam impurity should go karma yoga is to remove ragadvesha impurities upasana is to remove the vikshepa impurities etc we have seen just as gold processing also involves lot of step so to get 1 kilo of gold enalla etara weight edukalam then you have to remove the external rocks mud and other things and there afterwards they have so many processes maybe washing involves maybe magnetic belt and ellam sollaralya i don't remember la once upon a time chemistry <laughs> and there afterwards they say pure gold is taken by the electrolytic method where they get 99.999999% suppose you take the big bulk gold and use electrolytic process uno varade it is like taking our in the athle illa todakirathukku vechu adukku vera enna solluva churniya now suppose you want to clean it ninga try pandirukkalo generally people don't clean 
they clean everything with that but they never clean that now you go on dipping vandunde irukku minnala ordinary water le or 25 vera panna there after words enna lama soda avalla potu there after only you can put some powder or something otherwise instead of powder removing the dirt the dirt will absorb the powder also and remain there okay so therefore here also straight away jnana method cannot be used first karma yoga then upasana and there afterwards what cleansing process should take place they called it this puti karanam of gold putam bandrade em vatam ind putam dane puti karanam so they have to boil it and uh, there afterwards they use it certain stuffs and other thing and there afterwards the impurities are to be removed as a scum similarly here also the jeeva impure jeeva is puti krutam how shravana divihi uddipta gnana agni paritapita roasted heated paritapita na paritaha tapita totally heated through what gnana agni gnana agni na sphuti kritam therefore kalambara or class 11 o'clock or class jat tirpi tirpi roast panna vendida so gnana agni paritapita and this agni is to be kindled the fan pannide irukanam what is the fanning shravana divihi shravanam mananam and nididhyasanam so by the fanning of shravana manana nididhyasanam the jnana fire is kindled and in that jnana fire the impure jiva is roasted and then what happens he melts and the impurities come out and they are removed and after that the very same jeeva shine how jeeva ha sarva malan muktva so having dropped all the impurity ajnanam samshaya viparyaya ragadvesha all of them so jeeva ha sarva malan muktva swarnavat swayam dyotate he shines like a swarna and the beauty of the example is what you don't add shining to swarna because shining is swarnasya swabhavah all these processes are not to brighten the swarna we use the word brightening we are only removing the pratibandhas of the shining we never add similarly by shravana manana nididhyasana the teacher does not give ananda to the student and what happens teacher only removes the ananda pratibandhas and then malaranda mugam sollalalyo so shining bright face gloomy face and bright face bright face na anartham happy joy nandati nandati sampurnam jagadeva nandanavanam so swarnavati swayam dyotate continuing ಹೃದಾಕಾಶೋದಿ ಬೋಧಭಾನುಸ್ತಮೋಪಹೃತ್ಯಾಪೀಸರ್ವಾರೀ ಭಾತಿ ಭಾಸಯತೆ ಖಿಲ so here he says 
that in the heart of jivan mukta the atma surya has arisen the atma bhanu banuhuna surya not that till now the surya was absent it is not atma surya was there but still we miss it even the even during night the sun is there but for us it was obstructed by what our own earth only is the obstruction so then what is surya udayam not that surya is rising but the obstruction is gone therefore you recognize the surya similarly in the hridaya akasha atma was there till now but because of the night of ignorance because of the night of ignorance the surya was not available but once the night of ignorance is gone then it is the sign of suryodayam therefore he says hridakasha uditaha atma atma has risen in the hridaya akasha of whom the gnanis because in them only the night of ignorance is gone night is also dark ignorance also is dark therefore only in him the suryodaya has come and what type of surya it is bodha bhanu it is the sun of awareness swarupa chaitanyam bodha eva bhanu har bodha roopa ha bhanu har bodha eva bhanu that's why one jnani says in my antakaranam the surya has risen and a surya which never sets the atma never sets and therefore i do not have udaya astamanam after jnanam therefore katham sandhyam upasmahe therefore i take sanyasa i want to give up my sandhya vandana because the atma surya has permanently come into my heart therefore i don't have udayasthamanam therefore i don't have katham sandhyam upasmahe adumadri and what type of surya it is tamo apakrit which is the destroyer of all darkness okay but carefully we have to note atma does not directly destroy ignorance samaha na inge darkness darkness na anartham ignorance so here he says atma is the destroyer of ignorance children but logically speaking atma cannot destroy ignorance why if atma destroys ignorance everybody has got atma therefore nobody will have ignorance therefore atma destroys ignorance means atma reflected in akhandakara vritti destroys ignorance so vritti pratibimbitam sat not directly but indirectly mahavakya janita vritti dwara nashayati natu saksha so swarupa gnanam vritti gnana rupena agnanam nashayati how is it possible 
it is like the sun does not directly burn a piece of cotton but when the very sun light comes through a lens it can burn a piece of cotton similarly swarupa chaitanyam does not directly burn ignorance but swarupa chaitanyam coming through the lens what lens vritti lens it destroys ignorance wonderful example the credit goes to vidyaranya so tamo pakrit and what is the nature of that bodhah atma sarva vyapi all pervasive sarvadhari sarvadhari means what vishwadharam sustainer of all satta pradata adhisthanam and this atma bhati bhati means shines by itself and not only it shines by itself akilam bhasayate cha it illumines everything else also chetram chetri tatha krishnam prakashayati bharata ange surya drishtandanna therefor etha surya sarvam prakashayati evam atma surya sarvam prapancham prakashayati and who is that atma surya this jnani so with this the jeevan muktas vision also is completed videha mutti mukti mutti kaalela get 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 mutti undurthe okay videha mukti also has been talked about with this jnana phalam also is over so jeeva brahma aikyam has been pointed out shravanam mananam nididhyasanam have been pointed out jnana phalam also has been pointed out now what is left out phala shruti last shloka digdesh kaladyanapeksya sarvagam shitaadi hrinitya sukham niranjanam यस्वात्मतीर्थं भजते विक्रियः यस्वात्मतीर्थं भजते विनिष्क्रियः स सर्वविद सर्वगतो मृतो भवेत सो हियर आत्मा इज कंपेयर्ड टू ए तीर्थं तीर्थम मीन्स तीर्थयती पुनाती सर्वान इति तीर्थम दैट विच प्यूरिफाई सैंक्टिफाई क्लेंसेस एस स्वामीजी सेड व्हेन वी टेक डिप इन एनी होली तीर्थम लाइक गैंजस are like various uh, tirthams are there what is that prayagra there is a saras they know shulola ha ah, sangam and all those places they are all called tirtham when you merge or dip into those tirtham what happens punya papam etc will go away here shankaracharya says atma is the greatest tirtham and if you dip into that atma teertham dipping na nartham merging dipping ulla pona velil varapadadu therefore final dip 
then all impurities will go away. But this Atma Tirtham is superior to all other Tirtham in so many respects. All other Tirthams will remove your Papam, Tirthams can remove your Ajnanam. And since they cannot remove your Ajnanam, even though you get purified, what will happen? Again you become impure. And again you have to go to the same Tirtham or another Tirtham. This is the, they, they cleanse only temporarily. This is the second defect, second limitation. And the third limitation is going to other Tirthams involves traveling, ticket vanganam, kyuranakanam, train lavaranam, bus lavaranam. So all these things, and if it is on a festival day, lakhs and lakhs of people, you won't get even an opportunity to go there. Lot of competition. But Atma Tirtham, what are the advantages? First of all, it is in Gair Gengum Pohonda. Alukur Atma Varek, competition. It is Sarvagatam. So anywhere you can dip, you need not travel. Akkada unde, Pandurangadu, Ikkada unnadu. Right. Therefore, you need not travel anywhere, one advantage. The second advantage is, it removes papam. It removes punyam, it removes ajnanam also. Second advantage. And the final advantage is once the impurity is gone, thereafterwards you need not travel. That will be the last camp. <laughs> so, what type of atma it is? Sarvagam, all pervading. Dig desha kaladi anapeksha, which is unrelated to, untouched by space and time and direction. Shita dihrit, it is a destroyer of shitam, ushnam, dvandva, nivritti karaha, destroys dvandvam. Nitya Sukham, it is, to understand Nitya Sukham, eternal happiness. Niranjanam, it is ever pure, it will not get polluted like Ganges. <laughs> Niranjanam, Swatma Tirtham, this is the Swatma Tirtham. Tirtha, I don't know how to translate. Holy place, then, Juliana the holy place called Atma, Yaha Bhajate, the one who resorts to, dips. And what is his qualification? Vinishkriyaha. Vinishkriyaha literally means sannyasi, sarva karma tyagi. but we will dilute it for our purpose. So therefore, a seeker who has got internal detachment, vairagi, sadhana chatushte sampannaha, saha sarvavit bhavet, he will become sarvajnaha, sarvagataha, he will become, become la, you understand. He will become Sarvagnyaha. Sarvagnyaha na yasmin vijnate sarvamidam vijnatam bhavati. He doesn't know all details, but he knows that the essence of everything is Brahman, Sarvavit, 
சர்வகதா ஹீ இஸ் ஆல் பர்வேடிங் அண்ட் அமிர்தஹா பவே ஹீ வில் பிகம் இமார்டல் ஹீ வில் பிகம் முக்தா முக்தோ பவதி அண்ட் தேர் ஃபார் வாட் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஹீ இஸ் இன்டைரக்ட்லி அட்வைசிங் ஆல் that all of you instead of running here and after from teertham to teertham from temple to temple from places to places the best type of dip is and the last dip is atma teertha prapti hi and therefore all of you take this dip and be liberated sonnadai ketpa yagil so with this the atma bodha text also is over om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hi